Arkansas visits Jerry World, and they're going to take on Texas A&M. They have not had a whole lot of success against the Aggies, even as bad as the Aggies have been. Uh, but Texas A&M, a three-and-a-half point favorite, total of 51-and-a-half on this. Oh, yes. My stats model has Arkansas favored by two. My power rating plus stats has A&M favored by 2.8. And the power rating, just on a neutral, because that's exactly where this is, it's got A&M by two and a half. Uh, this thing is three and a half. You can get a four out there if you want to, or you can get a three out there. There's This thing is all over the map, all over the map. I think that Reed is a better quarterback, but they stated this week it looks like Connor Wigman is going to be QB1 this week, and I think that that actually hurts Texas A&M. A&M's numbers are inflated a bit because they went and just destroyed a bad Florida team. Arkansas uh, got outgained against Auburn, but they were able to... Well, you, you'll see this. Their turnover margin uh, improved drastically this past week after the Oklahoma State game where they just, I mean, they were giving the ball away all the time. They were number 86, or are number 86 in giveaways per game at one and a half turnovers per game. They were number 29 in takeaways per game. Part of that is because Auburn uh, threw them the football four times last week. Uh A&M is pretty good at not giving it away. They're number 26, so .75 giveaways per game. I'm intrigued in this game. I think that Arkansas can generate enough offense. They're number 17 in PPA per rush, number 13 in rushing success rate, uh, and they're number 34 in rushing explosiveness, which A&M is number 125 at defending rushing explosives. I think, I think that A&M's offense is tricky enough with Bobby Petrino that they are going to be able to generate some big things. They're number 39 in passing explosiveness. A&M is number 52 at defending it. I think Elko will be able to slow them down some, but I think that Arkansas will be able to generate enough big plays that they're going to be able to get into the end zone some. And I think this is a tight, tight ball game. I think there's a strong chance that Arkansas wins the game outright. Uh, they seem to have a lot of belief here. So I'm going to take Arkansas with the four on this. Give me the Razorbacks plus four on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>